What's up everybody? My name is Andrew and this is Kite Army. Today we're going to be comparing these two batteries from Ryobi right here. This battery on this side is a 18 volt 4 amp hour battery and this battery right here is a 18 volt 4 amp hour battery. So they seem like they've got the same power, right? Well, there are some differences. Let's start with cost. This battery right here is $99 a battery. This battery right here, you get two for 79. So there's a cost difference. There's gotta be more difference, right? Well, this battery right here has the word HP on it, which stands for high performance. Ryobi claims this battery will give you 30% more power than this battery. So our job here today is really simple. We're gonna find out if this HP battery really packs the power. And also, is it worth the extra cost? Let's start with the Ryobi propaganda. Introducing the new line of upgraded one plus 18 volt batteries. The flagship technology found in the new Lithium Plus HP batteries opens communication directly with Ryobi brushless tools through two new terminals. Pairing the Lithium Plus HP battery with a brushless tool allows the improved battery electronics to constantly monitor the performance and power demand of the brushless motor. During the most demanding applications, it senses the need to boost performance and unleashes pure Lithium Ion power preventing unwanted bog downs and shutoffs. All new OnePlus batteries have been re-engineered with improved lithium ion cells and upgraded electronics from the economical one and a half amp hour all the way up to the nine amp hour powerhouse, giving you the power to work even harder, faster, and longer to power through even the toughest jobs. All right, you can see that I'm loaded up on the brand new Ryobi brushless tools. Let's talk about this HP battery because this battery is supposed to give these tools the most power. Now this is a 18 volt, four amp hour battery. Those terminals they talked about in the video here that communicate with the tool to give you the better performance are right down there. Now let's look at the tools. Let's start with the circular saw. On the circular saw battery port, you can see there are the contacts right there that communicate with the battery to supposedly give you that extra performance. Here's the angle grinder. Again, this is the brushless angle grinder. There are the terminals right up top there. Now let's look at the drills. Here's the brushless Ryobi drill. You can see this is really interesting. There are no contacts on this drill. So that will not benefit from the HP battery. And here's the impact driver. Again, there are no contacts on this impact driver. So again, this will not benefit from an HP battery. So the first test we're doing today, I'm calling the bog down test. I've got a brushless Ryobi circular saw right there. Now Ryobi claims that their brushless tools talk with the HP batteries to provide more power if they sense a bog down. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna push this circular saw right to the point of bogging down. And let's see which battery powers that circular saw through the bog down. Here we go. Now that's an interesting result. I expected the HP battery to do much better. I didn't see it. I don't know if you at home did. If you did, leave a comment down below. Anyway, let's move on to test number two, and that's the cut test. We're gonna see how many cuts each one of these batteries can make. Here we go.
dead, dead, dead. That was a lot of cutting though. That was about 125 cuts. Dead, dead, dead. That was about 125 that cuts. That was a lot of cutting though. It, so I just finished up the HP battery test. There's the original piece of wood. And there's your leftovers. <laughs> Whoa, that hurts. All right, so I just finished up the cut test. Here's the results. On this side of the table is the pile of wood from the standard lithium battery right here. It's completely depleted. Now let's go over to this side. This is the huge pile from the HP battery. Definitely it's larger. Over here I did about 125 cuts with the HP battery. And over here about 88 cuts, let's call it 90 cuts with the standard lithium battery. Definitely a difference there. All right guys, it's time for the wrap up. But before we jump into that, please consider giving me a like for this video right down below. Also leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you guys think of this HP Ryobi battery. Now speaking of Ryobi battery, we got to figure all this out. So this is the deal. Basically in the bog down test, I couldn't tell the difference between the two batteries. I feel like the standard lithium performed as well as the HP battery. So I'd say there's no real winner there. Now in the cut test, definitely the HP battery cut more wood, but we have to consider that the HP battery is more than twice the price of the standard lithium. So here's the call guys. My money goes towards the standard lithium. Buy yourself two of them and you'll get more runtime than just a single HP. So before you bounce out of here today, make sure you check out this video right there. It's about Ryobi brushless versus brush tools. It's really cool. You're gonna to wanna to check that out. Also make sure you leave a like for this video down below. Leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And most importantly, be safe out there.